Hello, my friends. I'm coming straight here from Bangladesh. Ford says its new electric cars will have the same range as today, but they'll have batteries 33% smaller. Now, I'm curious to know what batteries Ford is saying they're going to be using because the energy density of the batteries they're going to be using must be far, far higher than what they're using today. Are they referring to lithium, manganese-rich batteries, which they say they've been working on? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I'll put a link in the description below. Ford's future EVs will have the same range, but one third smaller batteries. And that's what Ford believes is the future of the EV industry. Breakthrough EVs designed from the ground up to be profitable and hit China where it hurts are coming, says Ford. Now, Ford is saying also that um, not just small batteries are not just the only thing coming. They're saying that their new EVs, it sounds like they're going to be quite a bit lighter. They're going to use revolutionary new manufacturing line techniques to make vehicles much, much, much quicker, more efficiently, and also to potentially do something like Tesla, which is gigacasting. Ford is saying they're going to massively reduce the number of parts they're using in their vehicles by basically it's a, it's a form of Tesla gigacasting. Doug Field, the automaker's top EV boss and a former Tesla executive, that kind of tells you everything you need to know, said this week that Ford's obsession with efficiency will make its future EVs achieve a similar range as competitors with a battery that is up to one third smaller. This would be a big deal if Ford can pull it off. If you actually look at um, Tesla's existing EVs, their efficiency is, it's the best. For affordable EVs that you can buy in most countries, Tesla is almost always number one when it comes to efficiency. But it sounds like Ford is saying that it's been their goal to actually beat Tesla's efficiency. As I reported recently, Ford executives said that the first vehicle to use the new Ford Universal EV platform will be a 30,000 US dollar mid-sized pickup truck using lithium ion phosphate batteries. It's going to have a battery that's only around a 51 kilowatt hour size. That's that's quite small for a pickup truck. I, I don't know if that's the right strategy, but if it does use a 51 kilowatt hour battery, it has to be a very high energy density battery. Otherwise, it's not going to have much range at all. I mean, context, the battery in the Cybertruck, that's 123 kilowatt hours. So what kind of range is the truck going to have? Well, without knowing the range that it's going to have, kind of hard to know exactly what Ford are uh, going to do here. But I'm going to guess Ford would think, I mean, the CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, said he thinks Americans don't want EVs with less range than 200, than 250 miles. So you'd think that Ford is saying this new $30,000 electric pickup truck will have a 51 kilowatt hour battery and 250 miles of range, likely, which kind of doesn't sound possible. But thanks to Doug Field's comments, we know Ford is focusing not just on efficiency, not just on new manufacturing processes, but also on shrinking its batteries and improving battery energy density. Now, I should point out as well that in April of 2025, Ford announced via LinkedIn, this was posted by Charles Poon, Director of Electrified Propulsion Engineering, that they've developed a breakthrough with lithium manganese rich battery chemistry, and they are actively scaling it. The company is producing second generation LMR cells at its pilot line within Ford's battery center of excellence. And it plans to integrate LMR batteries into future EVs within the next few years. Ford says their LMR chemistry offers enhanced safety and stability, rivaling LFP batteries in terms of the safety and the longevity, industry leading energy density, even surpassing high nickel battery cells, now, I think the new LMR cells actually do use nickel, but not high nickel. Significant cost reductions, making EVs more affordable. So the actual batteries for the planning to use, I believe it sounds like, are lithium manganese rich batteries. Now, how does this stack up against General Motors? 
when Ford is making progress, General Motors is, well, apparently, ChatGPT says that GM are actually further into the development of their LMR batteries. GM, in collaboration with LG Energy Solutions, has already prototyped around 300 full-size LMR battery cells and plans commercial production by or before 2028, with some pre-production beginning in late 2027. GM highlights that LMR batteries can deliver up to 400 miles of range while being more affordable and safer, cobalt-free, manganese-rich chemistry, positioning them ahead in deployment timelines and industrial readiness. In contrast, Ford's timeline is much more general within this decade, say Ford, without a specific year. Now, to me, it sounds as though Ford are definitely not as far along with their lithium manganese rich batteries as what General Motors are. And I believe that it's likely what Ford's future strategy will be is this, two different types of batteries, lithium ion phosphate for the cheaper batteries, which will probably come from CATL, those batteries already do come from CATL, Ford get LFP batteries from the largest battery company in the world. But then LMR batteries in their mid-priced and higher priced electric SUVs, which will allow the kind of range the customers are after with smaller batteries. Now those smaller batteries will actually have a positive on range as well because smaller batteries along with gigacasting, which is what Ford plans, will reduce the weight of their cars massively. I mean, Ford's new EVs, based on that, are probably likely to be 300 kilograms, you know, 700, probably up to 700 pounds lighter than what they are today. So you can see how Ford's going to get potentially 33% more range, or 33%, or I should say the same range from 33% smaller batteries. Using a combination of technologies, Ford's new EVs will be cheaper, more efficient, and, uh, much lighter. I think that this is a massive positive for Ford. I really hope it pays off. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Ford is saying what I've been saying for years now, guys, and I have been saying this to those of you watching the channel now for a few years. I cannot understand why these car companies continue spending billions of dollars on new engines. And they are doing it. I mean, General Motors the other day said it was going to spend 850 million US dollars to improve its V8 engine. It's been improving its V8 engine for 100 years. And to be honest, I don't think anyone can tell the difference in the last 20 years. New car buyers, Ford says, are very different to car buyers from 30 years ago. And Ford is now saying, yeah, you know what? Engines don't really change the game.